Hello everyone again. I'm back with another top 10 list and I have someone with me. Hi. <laughs> Thanks. Today's hey, list. Welcome. Today's list is funny live stream moments. You ready for this? I'm so fucking ready. Alright, I got some cool fucking gameplay here. Yeah, sorry, my fucking cord. My umbilical cord is still attached, sorry. But here we have number, t I number that I can't 10. I can't find anything wrong with myself. I mean, that's pretty hard to so deal with. Hang on, <laughs> sorry, I saw a fat kid. I'm gonna punch. Get rid of him. Yeah, I'm punching the fuck out of there. There we go. Okay. So, number 10, we have that one girl who said, You can't afford five fucking dollars for my live stream. I don't know her name, sorry. But what she said was like super, was like someone putting awesome sauce on a plate of bodaciousness. So. She gets number 10 for that, even though I don't know her name. What do you think, Edgar? I mean, it's perfect fit for someone. Shit like... Can't afford five dollars. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> number 9. Why is my game running like shit? This is a PS5. And my frames are dropping. Anyways, number 9. XQC talking. Whenever he speaks, it's like he's speaking a language known as unintelligible. It's dead language seeing as he's the only one who speaks it. But all jokes, but like all jokes, it gets old. And that's what lands him on number nine. Would you agree with that statement? I would agree. Erm, um, you're supposed to challenge me. What? You're supposed to challenge me. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, to be... I, I mean, he should have been in the me. top 10, to this be honest. He's kind of mid. He's kind of mid. Alright, number 8. I told you Dr. Disrespect. You Shut your fucking mouth. Uh, the Not you. Me of some Sorry. Of okay. I, got, I gave a wedge to a little black kid and <laughs> they got me in school. <laughs> But anyways, number eight, Dr. Disrespect apologizing for cheating on his wife. Him cheating on his wife was super cool, but apologizing was like a huge beta move. Uh, you might you might think I'm joking, but I'm not, and that lands him on number eight. What do you think with that statement? Oh. I mean, totally. Really, a beta move for him to do that. Honestly, I think I might bump him up to number nine just because of how beta that move was. Yeah, I think you should. All right, XQC gets number eight, and he gets number nine. You heard it here, folks. Number seven. <laughs> uh, you might remember this guy because he was on a previous list, but I'm bringing him back. I'm bringing him back. That's right. It's Dark Side Phil. He gets number seven because he was gooning on camera. Which, yeah. like, <laughs> look, man. People just aren't funny nowadays, all right? Was I it gotta like get the first time. <laughs> no, I'm talking about that time. That Whoa. other time where he gooned again. I'm sketching a hot teacher, but anyways, Dark Side Phil gooning on the camera. Now, while this action was really fucking cool, it was an accident, so I had to deduct points for that. But I still laughed, so he gets and number seven. Thoughts? Hey, what did Thoughts. I ever do to you? Another um, day, mom, buddy. See. You don't know who you're messing with. I'm going to I mean. For him being a goon is not really, really anything. I mean, <laughs> he is quite a goon. He, he, 
Honestly, I, I don't know if he's gonna. Oh. The guy that I'm oh, about to mention is gonna be on the list. My legacy. That one guy that was caught. Like, oh, that, last last thing I do. that shit was fucking fire. Oh. Fire. <laughs> Him <laughs> Goonie was fucking fire. <laughs> yeah, I forgot what the other guy was called. Yeah, like before starting stream, like five seconds sesh. He did a five seconds. Like, sh yeah, shaking erratically and shit. He was jerking his shit crazy oh, style, is what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. Ridiculous style. <laughs> Don't hurt me! My mom will be upset! <laughs> Anyways. Let's, anyways. <laughs> let's continue. <laughs> uh, number six. <laughs> Airsoft fatty yelling while in Tefesh tank. Uh, live stream. I don't know if you know what that is. Uh, some fat kid. Um, no, do you know what the fish tank is? Oh, oh, but I do know eight saber fights that he has. <laughs> uh, basically what the... Fish tank podcast, not a podcast, it was a live stream where a bunch of people lived in a house together. It was made by uh, Samuel Hyde. You know, the guy that like shot up every place imaginable. Yeah. Feel the wrath of nerd rage. Wait, uh, so that's what he did, he just got a bunch of like weirdos together. <laughs> I can tell. Looking at it right now, he has a rage completion. <laughs> but Airsoft Yeti yeah, was yelling so much in that. And the yelling itself wasn't funny, I didn't think it was funny. But his yelling was so high pitched, it blew out the ear it blew out the ear drums from my dog, which I thought was really fucking funny. <laughs> <But> <laughs> <laughs> Gotta be professionals, we can't yeah. play. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but I had to see his <laughs> I had to see his disgusting <laughs> body. <laughs> so he gets number six for that. Alright, so uh, uh, we're on number five now. Uh number five is uh do you wanna take a guess? He was on the previous list. I'm about to say either, uh, fuck, I don't remember much of the, of the Gooners. <laughs> uh, uh, I'll give you a hint, I'll give you a hint. He was, uh, fat. Oh, Nick Okado Okado! <laughs> <laughs> Nick Akano does a live stream. Think of another fat ass that live streamed. Queso! Erm, um, was Queso on the Guna list? I don't think so. <laughs> he should have been. <laughs> Did he go on camera at some point? <laughs> I'm. I mean, if, if eating food and. food <laughs> as. as Gooning, then I don't know. <laughs> well, I don't think it counts. Uh, but anyways, uh, you want to just tell you the answer? Yeah, please. Uh, number five is Boogie2988. Boogie. Yeah. <laughs> the guy that was the cow. <laughs> you remember now? I remember. Yeah, the fucking fab cow picture thing. Like, yeah. It's so fucking gross. <laughs> um, so anyways, he's on this list again because he's got a lot of funny clips. Like, for example, him saying that racist and rapist are better than trolls. Which, seeing as I'm both those groups, I had to agree. Not to mention the splaying of clits. That was amazing. So he gets number five for that. What do you think? I don't think... I don't think he deserves to be moved up or moved down. Number 5 is a good spot? Number 5 is a good spot for him. 
Alright, hang on. Sorry, I'm running for authorities because I shot somebody with a slingshot. Killed some. No, I shot him in the chest. It doesn't count. With a rock. <laughs> Number four, which I'm now realizing oh, I spelled F-O-R -F instead of F-O-U-R. Is <laughs> Wings of Redemption. He shit himself on live stream and he was crying. Because of course. I think it's... <laughs> basically... <laughs> I, I don't like what I wrote here. <laughs> no, I, I literally wrote down number four, Wings of Redemption shitting himself. He was crying. I think it's been... I think it's been since I seen it. Instead of... I fucking forgot to put while. But basically, he just flooded his diaper so he gets a fantastic four from me. Love you, Wings. Any comments on that? I just want to say after that uh, bar mitzvah party that we have, um, I I think I think it would have been better if uh, he I don't know he had to do bar mitzvah party. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, everybody got super mad at me because I said the truth. Obviously. Yeah. But uh, me and me and him go long ways, and seeing him the number four. <laughs> you and Wings go long just, ways. It's just like a kind of discouraging, if that makes sense. I can agree. I mean, you were you were like his personal nurse. You had to like get under his fat uh, and wash him. Obviously, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Remember that time when uh, he ate, ate too much mustard and when and when I had to clean, you know, yeah, he ate too much mustard and I had to clean up his own shit. I had to wipe his. It was, ugh, so fucking stinky. That's cool. But anyways, number three. Uh, do you want to take a guess on this one? He was also on the list of the Gunners list. Not very much of a gooner uh, expertise. All right. Well, expertise. I'll give you a list anyways. He's Thank fat, and he was in the top three. Top B. Uh huh. Have you tried a little day labor between paychecks? I wish I knew how I went to San Francisco. Go on, take a guess. Some bald guy, I think, right? Bald guy? Uh, no, he has a full head of hair. A luscious full head of hair. I can't think of any right now. Uh, well, I'll just tell you. It's everyone's favorite gooner. Vosh. Okay, that was Vosh. So Vosh is known because of his horsey fascination. No, oh, hang on, I saw a dog, I wanna kick it. Just like I do my actual dog. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure everybody that watches this video will like that. Anyways. <laughs> so Vosh has a horsey folder. As we all know, he's a bit of a strange man who wants to fuck and get fucked by stallions like myself. Unfortunately, I don't want to do that anymore, so that lands him on three. And that, that moment when he asked you for that, I can't forgive him. Honestly, seeing him at number three breaks my heart, is, breaks my heart again. <laughs> Breaks your heart. Breaks my heart. See them become the they are now. Getting their material get thinking correctly, they start thinking about themselves and they want to get fucked by a big gun like you. 
By a big fucking beautiful <laughs> luscious horse cut. You're so right. <laughs> Sorry, sir, I didn't mean to hit you with my bike. Teehee. And now, we get to number two. As soon as I can look down at my phone. No, you, no, you can't take a guess at who this is. Okay. It's gonna say K Silver. <laughs> He's no, not on the list. On the list. <laughs> <laughs> See, you're right because I don't even have the script. Exactly. Okay, so number two is Sam Hyatt threatening to kill Hassan Piker in his house in Los Angeles in real life. Uh, I don't need to explain this one, obviously, but unfortunately it's still number two. So do you have any thoughts or opinions on that, Liptard? We all know Sam Hyde. He bit of a problematic little I guess brat you can call him. But uh Do you yeah. know how many styles You like the taste of Fred Yard stick? You take it. The big mini though. <laughs> you think he's a big mini? Alright, so now we get to number one. Oh wait, no, 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 sorry, I forgot. I, I, I have some honorable mentions like last time. Okay. So, in this honorable mention, we have you! Yeah, let's go! When you threatened, when you said that Martin, when you called Martin Luther King the N-word, it was really brave. To be honest, the on the live stream, I do remember that. Yeah, you were just like, like, I like, fucking hate Martin Luther King. He's such a well, you know. Yeah. Fucking bruh. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to drop that. I was about to drop that word. I know, right? But uh, you took, you literally took the words right out of me. Yeah, no problem, bro. Oh. All right, I got you. Thanks, and. Brother. and the other honorable mention we have is is that clip of Burger Andy being left behind in the party bus. I don't know if you've seen it. It's really funny. <laughs> you've seen it. But what is it about? Basically, a bunch of streamers got like a party bus, and they were like, "Hey, Burger Andy, come with us, dude." I think they made him eat a worm first. <laughs> I don't know. But they're just like, you should come on the party bus with us. And then when he gets there, the bouncer of the party bus is just like, oh, you, know, you, need, you need an invitation to get in, dude. And he's like, but I, I don't have an invitation. My, my friends are inviting me. <laughs> Quote unquote friends. And, well, obviously he just, he just wasn't allowed inside, you know? And the bus door closes on him and you see his reflection. Oh yeah! I he's seen like, that one, yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah! And then he's like, you know, his fucking disproportionate body on the reflection <laughs> makes it even funnier. Yeah, he's got like a head that's like 20% smaller than his body. He, he kinda looks so fucking small. Yeah. So that's the other honorable mention. And finally, number one. Drum roll please. Doctor disrespect doctor, spying on spying women on taking them. fat sloppy fat frothy sloppy shits in public shit. toilets. Ah, dude, I remember that. That's so fucking hot. Like, first of all, he predicted skibbity toilet, and second of all, that's literally what I do, and that lands him on number one of the list. Like, it's such a relatable thing, you know. Such a rizzler, I should say. I know, right? I, honestly, I can't say to that. I, I think I think if it's perfectly well with being on number one. 
I should just respect spying on women in the bathroom. <laughs> He sprayed that liquid shit all over the walls as well. That shit was like the sherry on top. Yeah, <laughs> you would know something about liquid shit being on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> you bring that shit up. <laughs> <laughs> that would, I wouldn't know. Uh, context. Um, I used to work at this shitty retail. It was bad. I mean, pay wasn't good anyways. But I'm glad I was out of that shit anyways. But the problem was this lady. <laughs> she she was so gorgeous, let me tell you that. She was like very pretty. And I I saw, you know, like maybe I can hit on her or something. But obviously I got no game. Just kidding, I do. Yeah, you're not a wizard like me. Or dodge or disrespect. I'm just a rookie in training. Anyways, uh, she it was like around 12 to 1, I guess, and that. Well, after midnight, and uh, she asked me for pressure. I and I accepted. I told her, yeah, go ahead and use the restroom. I just cleaned the restroom like. I should be pretty clean, presentable for her. <laughs> and, um... She takes her sweet-ass time. She's been there for at least, I will say, like at least 10 minutes. 15. It might have been longer, but if... Just felt like forever. Potentially she gets out. I'm you know, pretty happy. I get a, that I get to attend a, such a beautiful lady. Naturally. Uh, and, um... Well, the thing is, after she used the restroom, he decided to check on the restroom again, just in case it needs to be cleaned, and... <laughs> <laughs> and, um... You know, I checked the restroom, see if it cleaned, and in the moment I opened the door, first thing that hit me was the fucking smell. <laughs> rancid, and I thought maybe she she took like big mean forks, you know. <laughs> I thought, oh, maybe she like. I'm, Like, she toxified the fucking restroom with her own fucking farts. And, like I said, I thought it was farts. And, um... When I open the door, literally... The first thing you see is a toilet. And I see this toilet, and it's Scooby so does, clean. Does, does. And it's so clean. And, um... But... Something was wrong. I then noticed that the, the the lid was closed, and I lifted the lid open for the, the toilet seat. The first one, not the second. I see literal shit splattered the little door, I guess you can call it. I, I don't know. The little lid was covered in shit. <laughs> And on the rim of the toilet was shit as well, and under that <laughs> lid, the cover thing, yeah, well, the cover is covered in shit, then the rim that you sit on is covered in shit, and then underneath that rim that you sit on, it's also covered in shit, and the fucking toilet is missed, like, she fucking missed that toilet, she fucking smeared that shit to the fucking wall, down the fucking pipes and shit <laughs> and it was so fucking gross and shit I literally had to close the store I put up a sign saying like sorry some dumb bitch fucking uh, did something at some horrific it, it was something along the words of something horrific in the restroom happened by some bitch <laughs> a 
but by some nice lady because I didn't write the word bitch. But, um, Naturally. And it was literally a world of shit for me. I felt utterly sick as. Unless you're a scat, scat lover, then uh, or power to you, I guess. <laughs> power to you. You don't get my respect. Get lovers. Anyways. And that's the video, folks. I hope you enjoyed that story too. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's it. Especially if you work in retail. <laughs> the story of me working retail and cleaning shit inside and it was horrible. Is if you ever thinking of working retail, I think you should because uh, it opened my mind of how fucking dirty people can be. Yeah. If you have a scat fetish, you know you can get a job in retail and then. It's literally 1% and you can literally get shit up. <laughs> yeah, can... Let the shit up. <laughs> exactly. Anyways, well, you can that's... go ahead and finish your... Yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you liked it and... Uh... Well, I don't oh, like you. I hope we can... I mean, I like I you, know. my co-host, but I don't like you, the audience. You didn't have sex with me that one time. Yeah. So if you're a girl and you're watching this, have sex with me now. Trust me, he's good at it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ask the fucking uh, where the fuck was it that we ate? Golden girl. Ask the golden girl hey, waitress. Bring her up again now. <laughs> Something, something tells me that you really, really like to that lady out there, the Golden Corral, <laughs> that Golden Corral that we went to uh, last week. <laughs> You're very pretty, and uh, me and I'm my friend. Very, yeah, I'm like in love with you and stuff. Yeah, and I'm really hoping that uh, you can talk to him one day. Yeah, I Peace. hope I can like make you regret your decisions and may turn you off the male uh, population or whatever. You know what they say, um, beast of trout, she won't suffer. That's a freakishly big hand. Anyways, that's it for the video this time, for real, I promise. Yeah, you wanna say bye? Uh, see ya. Uh, subscribe to me, please, 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 please. Um, I'm not gonna link in the description, and I'm not gonna put up your channel now. Yeah, okay, that's fair. <laughs> I just want to reach 90 subscribers so I can start live, live streaming on YouTube, and I can start dropping N words like Martin Luther King. Yeah, that's cool. Okay, bye. Yeah.